Hi, I am Dr. K. Chanakya Kishore, Senior Interventional Cardiologist from Care Hospitals, High Tech City, Gachipoli. Today I am talking about two topics briefly. One is uh, sudden cardiac uh, death in young people. We are seeing so many celebrities and young people are dying suddenly. The major causes would be some of these patients will have uh, cardiomyopathies, which is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is notorious for sudden cardiac arrest when you exert too much. Other thing is heavy smoking in the young people. Some of these people, they smoke heavily. So heavy smoking also will cause young heart attacks. And another thing is some of these people will have some anomalous coronary arteries from the beginning, from the birth. And these coronary arteries which supply blood to the heart, they become compressed while doing exercise between the great arteries. Once they get comp compressed, either they may develop a heart attack or they may develop arrhythmias and sudden cardiac arrest. And some of these young people also will have the bad, bad habit of having drug abuse. Cocaine is notorious for causing cardiac arrhythmias when you take it in excessive quantities. So another point is probably healthy lifestyle of maintaining proper body weight and proper diet, avoiding junk food, avoiding red meat. All these things will prevent early onset of coronary artery disease or young heart attacks. Other thing I would like to talk now is valvular heart disease, degenerative valvular disease. Nowadays, the longevity of the Indian population has increased compared to the earlier days. So as the age increases, the degenerative process uh, diseases which involve the various organs uh, also will involve the valves of the heart which is called valvular uh, heart disease, degenerative valvular disease which involves mainly aortic valve and mitral valve. Involves the aortic valve, earlier we used to do these patients uh, surgical way of uh, treatment. Uh, nowadays we have uh, the percutaneous minimally invasive therapy that is called transcutaneous aortic valve replacement which we do it from groin with a small incision and which is very effective and this is uh, uh, equally effective compared to the surgical management. Other thing is probably we have another is a mitral valve degenerative disease which is also can be managed with uh, uh, percutaneous uh, methods like uh, percutaneous mitral valve replacement through groin. Other thing is when there is a mitral station, leak of the mitral valve is secondary to dilatation of the heart either by dilated cardiomyopathy or ischemic cardiomyopathy. These type of patients can be managed with mitral valve clip that is called mitral clip that is also can be managed through a small incision in the groin, small hole in the groin and uh, subsequently we can clip the mitral valve, uh, decrease the uh, orifice of the mitral valve so that the leak will be decreased. So that they become uh, uh, asymptomatic they can come out of the heart failure and life threatening situation and give uh, this is a, a very effective way of treating this type of valvular heart disease thank you